This boat's called Number Seven. She's brand new. She's a 57-foot reverse layout cruiser stern narrowboat built this year. The hull's built by S. Jackson and Sons. She was built or sold as a Lim Marina sailorway and then finished off, fitted out by Dan Cook. 1065 for the steelwork. There's only 48 hours on the engine. Obviously, the blacking's new, the paintwork's new. It's quite a nice sage coloured green, actually. It's quite unusual. So, she's got an enclosed front cabin. There's a, quite a large storage locker in the bows there. 18 inch portholes on the boat. They all open. Very wide side hatch. I didn't measure it actually, but I'm guessing two and a half, three feet wide. And a nice cruiser stern. Six foot three inches long. Lovely back deck. The engine's in here. It's a canal line 38 horsepower. There's a central heating boiler on the wall there. The batteries are under my feet. There's 405 amp hour domestics and one starter. Very nice and clean in there. There's a gas bottle in that locker. Nice rail to perch your bottom on when you're motoring. And there's another storage locker or spare gas bottle could be put in that port side locker. All right, so let's go and have a look inside. She's reverse layout, so down into the galley. Good proportions of the rooms in this boat. The galley's 11 foot 3 inches long. It's a three burner gas hob. Obviously all of this is new. Oven and a space underneath for pans and things. Here's the fridge. It's a three-way fridge, a smod. There's quite a good size cupboard here. Goes all the way down to the floor. Bumble's found something he's trying to get his hands on. Storage under these steps. It goes down all the way as well. And here's the electrics. There's fuse boards. There's the inverter. It's a Sterling Pro Power 1600 watt pure sign inverter. There's a galvanic isolator in there as well. And these are copper effect taps and handles. This is quite clever. That, that drawer doesn't come all the way out because of the sink drainage, but that thing comes off and then pops back on and held there. Deep drawer underneath it. And then a whole host of other drawers here. I'm not going to open all of them. Some of you may be disappointed by that, but you get the feeling. Lots of work surfaces. Or work surface space. It's a breakfast bar. Oak block. Head height on the boat. I'll mention that while I think of it. Six foot six in the middle. All the lights are LED. Nice side hatch there. This is a nice size breakfast bar and underneath it there's plumbing and power for a washing machine which is going to be put on, on the boat in, in about a week so it will come with a washing machine. The sitting room's open plan, 14 feet 6 inches long so loads of room in here and that's a 39 inch bush smart TV. Solid fuel stove at the end with a room underneath it, I suppose that's to put logs and things. A really good sized room, get sofa beds, armchairs whatever you like in here really, so much space. And into the bathroom. The floor in here is interesting. It's Eva foam, it's waterproof and stain proof. The flooring in the rest of the boat by the way is engineered oak. Nice size shower there with a rain head. The loser port a potty, uh, sorry Thetford cassette. Lovely big sink there, that's ceramic. The bathroom itself is six foot six, and the bedroom here is eleven feet eleven inches long. King size bed, six foot six feet long, five feet wide. Would it be even bigger if you had a mattress made to follow the lines of the gunnels? There's a window at the end of the bed for air, light, and escape if necessary, and a good sized double wardrobe. There's a drawer underneath it as well. 
See the radiators here, they're pretty stylish. The whole boat feels quite modern, actually. The central heating is a Webasto diesel fired boiler to four radiators. The water tank on board is stainless steel, 315 litres, and the water is heated by the engine, the Webasto, or the resource, or an immersion heater. There's 12 USB points on board, 10 230 volt sockets. Really lovely boat. Nice length, 57 foot, go anywhere size. And there we go, that's number seven. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk. I would also like to add, rest in peace your majesty and God save the king.